Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you are doing extremely well. And in this video, we are going to discuss the question swapping pair and make some equal. What does the question say? The question say we have been given two arrays of different length, right? So first array is four one two one one two, and the second array is three six three three, right? Now, if I calculate the sum of a and sum of b, the sum of the elements of a, it will be four plus one plus two. That is equals to five plus two equals seven, eight, nine, and eleven. It will be 11 here right and what will be the sum of uh, elements of b it will be 15 right now i want to select two elements such that let's say i select two elements x and y x should be from a y should be from b now i want to swap them i want to swap them that is if i suppose i select x as this and y as this right so what will be my array, uh, array after swapping them so a will become equals to 4 1 2 6 1 2 and b will become equals to 3 1 3 3 right now if i calculate the sum it should be equals to so what is the sum now 4 plus 1 5 plus 2 7 13 14 and 16 what is the sum here it will be equals to 10 now it is not the case by let's suppose the sum becomes uh, sum a and sum becomes sum b now we, the x and y should be selected such that sum a and sum b are equal are equal uh, we have to return one if we are able to found, find any pair x and y minus one if it is not possible to find right also one more thing it might be possible that sum of a and sum of b are initially equal are initially equal in that case also we have to find a pair such that the sum remains equal right we cannot say that it is not at most one pair we have to find exactly one pair we have to find exactly one pair right okay so how will we solve the problem how will we solve the problem so let us delve into some calculations first then only it will become very easy for you so ca first calculate the sum of a and sum of b so sum of a and sum of b you have sum of a and you have sum of b right okay these are the initial sums these are the initial sums which can be calculated using a for loops easily right now i suppose i choose x from a and y from b right now what is my condition i my condition is sum of a minus x because x is getting revoked from a x is not no longer in a plus y because y is in place of x sum of a minus x plus y equals to equals to sum of b minus y because y is not present here no longer plus x right they should be equal this is my condition right this is my condition this is my condition so if i try to process it what is happening it is actually happening is x oh sorry uh, y minus 2x plus 2y equals to sum of b minus sum of a which is equal to 2x minus 2y equals to sum of a minus sum of b that means x minus y the difference of the two values we are swapping is equal to sum of a minus sum of b by 2 what does it mean if we are able to find two elements in x uh, in uh, what do we say if we are able to find two elements in the ar in array a and b such that the difference is equal to this value that means we can return one otherwise we will return minus one right this is the condition now if i try to explore more is it even possible to find such values if sum of a minus sum of b it is odd value if it is odd what if what happens if it is odd if this is odd then that means it is not a like perfect division it will lead a remainder of 0.5 right it will leave a remainder of 1 it will leave a remainder of 1 so what can i say if i subtract two integers if i i, I subtract two integers subtract two integers the number you will receive is always gonna be a whole number right 0 1 2 etc etc they cannot be 0 0.5 0 0.75 etc etc so if sum of a minus sum of b is odd in that case simply return minus 1 right moving on when their sum is when the difference is uh, even when the difference is even what will we do now here comes the approach so first is the brute force approach first is the brute force approach what does the brute force approach say brute force approach say use the concept of nested loops what do i mean by that what will i do i will say for i equals to 0 up till n minus 1 for j equals to 0 up till n minus 1 sorry m here now what will happen if 
i is from array a so if a of i minus a of j let's say target equals to sum of a minus sum of b by 2 we have already taken care of this uh, odd and even etc right if a i minus a j equals to equals to target return 1 that is you have found a pair return 1 otherwise at the end of the outer loop you can simply say return minus 1 because you have not found a pair what is the time complexity here what is the time complexity so you are using n iterations here m iterations here so it is n into m so some sort of a square time complexity if m equals to n it will become equal to n square not optimized we have to optimize it we have to optimize it so what will i do what will i do so the expected time complexity of the question says o of n log n plus n log m this is a clear indication to me to sort the arrays to sort the arrays the time complexities are always a great way of solving the problems so if i sort the given arrays the arrays a would look something like 1 1 1 2 2 4 and b will look something like 3 3 3 3 6 so there is a less 3 a 3 is not here it will be 6 okay okay so this is my sorted version of the arrays now my condition is i from a minus j equals to equals to target equals to equals to target how can i solve it how can i solve it so suppose i keep my two pointers here i keep my i pointer here and i keep my j pointer here right now what will i what will happen in each case the difference let's say the difference is equals to a of i minus a of j right three possibilities for difference difference equals to equals to target difference equals to equals to target for second possibility difference less than target difference less than target and third possibility difference greater than target difference greater than target if difference equals to equals to target we don't need to traverse most because we have found a pair to swap so return one that is sorted return one right now what if difference is less than target this difference is less than target if i want to increase this difference what should i increase i can increase this this is b actually i want i can increase this value i can increase this value why i can increase because if my i is moving in this direction and the array is sorted obviously a of i is increasing similarly if my j is moving in this direction and b is sorted that means b of j is increasing now i want to increase difference such that it becomes equal to target so if i want to increase it i can either increase this or i can either increase this what should i do is they uh, please listen carefully it is minus here so if it is minus here i will have to increase this such as to decrease uh, such as to increase so i will say i plus plus but if it is vice versa if difference is greater that means i have to reduce the difference to reduce the difference i should increase this value which is actually negative so i will say j plus plus right but uh, up till when will this loop occur up till when will this loop traverse until i is less than n and j is less than n right if outside of the loop I'm not able to found a pair then i will return minus one right what is this approach called this approach has a common name of two pointer right so what is my pseudo code looking like i am saying i is equals to zero j equals to zero as my starting point and now while i is less than m and j is less than m right what will i do i will say difference equals to ai minus bj right ai minus bj now three conditions if difference equals to equals to target target is same sum a minus sum b by two if difference equals to equals to target return one else if less than target i plus plus else j plus plus after the loop you can simply return minus one that's all you have to do nothing else what is the time complexity so why because i is going up till n j is going up till n in the worst case it can be n plus n in the worst case, it can be n plus m, o of n plus m, but still you are not using any extra space, so o of 1, right? Okay, so it is time for us to see the code. Hope you have understood the problem and you find it easy, I guess, because the problem is actually easy. So let us try to code it down. Right, guys, so here we are on the coding section, but before starting with the code, I would like to request you to please subscribe to my channel because I unfortunately only 20% of you have subscribed and 81% have not subscribed so please 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 do subscribe it will just take a moment of your life and it will give me a, give me a lot of motivation right believe me it, it really motivates me right so moving on now first thing I have to calculate the sum so int sum a 
equals to 0 currently and some b equals to 0. Now what will I do? For int i going from 0 up till n i plus plus sum a plus equals to a of i and similarly for int i going from 0 i less than m i plus plus sum b plus equals to a b of j right now if sum a minus sum b percentile 2 is not equal to 0 that is they are not even that means return minus 1 not possible otherwise the target will be in target equals to sum a minus sum b by 2 now moving on int i equals to 0 j equals to 0 int i equals to 0 j equals to 0 now what will happen while i is less than n and j is less than m the options we have is to first calculate difference so int difference equals to a of i minus b of j approach has already been discussed so if difference equals to equals to target if difference equals to equal oh we have to sort the array first right so sort a of a comma a plus n and sort b to b plus m right now if difference equals to equals to target we can simply return 1 also else if difference is less than target if difference is less than target the approach we have is i plus plus using the two pointers because the arrays are sorted else j plus plus and we can simply return minus 1 outside of the loop right let us try to compile and run it hope it will work fine in the meantime do consider subscribing my channel please press this button please press that button okay so some error is here okay what is oh it is i i'm not declared j here i have declared i only so let us try to run it again please work it is running fine let us try it for submit as well i guess it should run fine it is running and thank you for watching and we'll meet again tomorrow Till then, please, please, please stay tuned and keep voting and do not forget to subscribe and like the video. Thank you. Have a nice day.